Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to talk about a topic which was requested by some of my subscribers and honestly I just wanted to make this video because it's kind of like a chill video, it isn't, it isn't anything too complicated and I don't have a lot of time today because tomorrow I have a really hard midterm and I just wanted to make this quick video where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a 404 uh, kind of like not found page so when you go to like any URL usually on a website um, I'll try to see for example, if I go to, I don't know, even like Instagram or any random website you imagine, and you, you try to reach a route, for example, I come here and I try to reach a random route, whatever, and I press enter, it loads a page saying like 404 error, page not found, something like that. So you can customize that, you can make that, that won't be the default. The default, if you deploy your application, it will show a page not found message from your hosting website. So that's not something that usually we like to do not because it is bad or anything It's just so that like you can customize your 404 page so basically how we're going to be doing this is we're going to be using react to order done and i already installed react to order done but if you if you you haven't installed then you can go here to the terminal and just say something like yarn add react router dom I know this is like you just put this inside of there or if you're using npm it's just npm install react router dom so prior to this video, I created here um, in my React application, a folder called pages, and I just created three different components. They literally don't have anything. One of, the, one of them is called feed, the other one is called menu, the other one is called profile. And literally what they have inside of them is just a div saying this is a profile, or this is a, a menu, or this is a feed. And we're obviously not, not rendering them anywhere in the application right now, but we're gonna definitely be working with that later. So what do we wanna have in our application? Well, first of all, we want to import everything related to React Router DOM in order to utilize and create this page, right? So let's import. And the standard when you import stuff from React Router DOM is you want to first import the browser router, which is where you're going to contain all of your routes. But usually we'd say as router so that we don't have to write browser router at every time. We just call it router. And then we want to import a route, which is a route we want to define then a switch and if you if you were confused with switches uh, this will this is a very nice use case to why you need to use a switch when you're working with react water dom and also we'll also grab a link which will make us like be able to go from page to page then we can say from react router dom now we have all of this imported and we can start working with it so basically what i like to do is i just come here and i just create the router and everything will be inside of this router. So in our main page, which is our like initial page, uh, I just want to have, actually in every single page, I wanna have the links, right? So I wanna create a link for, for the, how do I say, for the feed, one for each page, right? And also, yeah, one for each page, one for the feed, one for the menu, and one for the profile. So I can say here, a uh, link to uh, slash, uh, feed, which is one of the routes I want to create, then I'm going to say something like feed, whatever. It's just a link. You can see it already appears in our screen. I'm going to paste this two more times because we're going to have three links. The other one is going to go to menu and the other one is going to go to profile. So profile. And let's change this over here as well. Menu and also profile. Okay, that's perfect. So we can see we have those links. Currently, they go nowhere because like it changes the the route over here as you can see, but we we don't like we don't have routes in our application. We're going to start working with routes right now. So we have to create a route for the menu, the feed, the profile, and also a route for when you just enter the link initially when you render an application, the initial route is how we call it. So let's create our fir our first route over here. We're going to say route and this is going to be the first like initial route. So we can say path and it's going to be just a simple slash because it's the first route. We can say exact and this is literally it. We don't need to render anything. Uh, when we render our, like we wanna render this app component when we just go to our initial route. So that's why we don't put anything over here. But then we wanna create another route, which is a route for, um, the feed so we can say feed and it's also exact and now we have to pass a component so instead of the component we need to we need to basically import the 
feed component and pass it over here. If I just write feed, nothing happens because we don't have it right now. So let's import feed, import feed from dot slash pages slash feed. Uh, this is the path. So you can see we have a pages folder and feed is inside of it. And then we can just also import the other two. So it's menu and profile, right? Menu and menu and then also profile. So we're gonna have three pages, right? Uh, my keyboard uh, for some reason lagged, but profile and then profile here as well. So perfect. Now we have all three of them and let me close this and let's now also create the other two routes that we need. So we need menu, it's gonna take the menu component. We want a profile and it's gonna take the profile component. So what does that mean? Well, it means that initially when you render, when you go to localhost 3000 or if you go to your own website URL or whatever, you'll just see the links because it will only render this right here, which are the, the stuff that exists in the app component. If I go to feed, it should show this because this is what exists in the feed. And it should also show this because this is what we're rendering uh, anyway, like outside of the routes, in every route, we're gonna have this links, as you can see, right? So you can click on them and it's gonna change based on which route you're on. So that's perfect, right? You can see right here, it's working. So now how do we create a, how do we create a 404 uh, page, which basically on whichever, like whenever we try to reach something that doesn't exist, it should render that specific page. Well, very simple. First of all, let's create our component for the page, right? I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say uh, page not found, something like this, uh, page not found .js. It's gonna be obviously a, a, a React component, so a functional component. And inside of here I can put whatever I want. For example, I wanna, pay, I wanna put an H1 saying four, 404, and then I wanna put another one uh, right here, which is an H2 saying page not found and obviously you can put more stuff usually uh, I like to do in my website I like to play around with this I put like funny funny images funny gifs you can put it's just as like to give a good user experience to the user right um, and then basically we have this component done we can come here we can import this component so import page not found from dot slash pages slash page not found and now what we can do is we can come here and we can basically just say a route and we can pass a component, just a component and page not found. We can also pass the, like, as you can see, it appears already and it, it's working. However, it isn't actually working. It appears when we go to this link right here. But as you can see, even if we go to like the initial route, it will always appear. If we go to a feed, the feed appears, the profile appears, the menu appears. So you might be wondering, well, why is this happening? Well, this is why we need to use switch because what switch does is if we put a bunch of routes inside of a switch component, it will basically tell the program to like, if it reaches, if it renders a route, if it, if it, if it founds that you are in the feed route, it will stop looking after that. So basically if we put a page not found down here, it will look through all of these routes. It will see that none of them um, like correspond to whatever you put over here. So uh, basically you're, you're in a route that doesn't exist and it will render whatever it is in the last one. So this one right here, when you don't put a path, it will render this infinitely. It will always render. However, with the switch, it will go through all of them and it will only render this one. So we can come over here and say switch and we can grab this and wrap this around a switch. So this is why you need to use a switch. As you can see right here, if we are in the profile, it doesn't show. If we go to a menu, it doesn't show. Whatever we go to, it doesn't show. Even if I go to the initial page, wait, I, I just put whatever, but if I go to the initial page right here, it doesn't show. But if I try to go to something like slash YouTube and a bunch of random things, it obviously will show like page not found. So I can like, let me increase this so it looks a little bit better. Um, it still doesn't look better, but that's okay. You can organize this, but this is the basic idea of making a 404, uh, basically a, 
a page, right, which you can access whenever you try to reach a route that doesn't exist. It's really cool. I recommend always putting this in your website because obviously it gives a good and like a nice user experience and it's just a great addition. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below because I would really appreciate it. It will help me with my algorithm. Uh, you guys have been helping me a lot to make my channel grow and I really appreciate it. So if you enjoy, please leave a like. And comment what you want to see next, because all of the, my past videos have been suggestions from my, from my subscribers. I have a list of videos I'm going to make, and all of them are suggestions. And subscribe if you want to see more. So I see you guys next time.